back with the Sima X5HC1, the new drone. After a kind of a little bit of a, a disappointing unboxing with the XK251. <laughs> a little frustrated there. I got a little frustrated there. But I guess we'll see. Maybe it'll turn out to be good after all. We'll see. It's just the fact that the book is all in Chinese. So I have no idea what I'm doing with that thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to try to watch some other people's videos, and maybe they got a book that was in English. Uh, all right, go ahead and pull everything out of this box. Just going to quickly look on the outside here. It says uh, 140 millimeter motor. Uh, no, main rotors, I'm sorry. Motor is, don't say, it's, it's 8 times 4, I guess, 8 millimeters. Uh, Uh, 3.7 500 milliamp light poly battery. Pretty much it. Uh, you know, I actually got this one, the C model. This one looks kind of cool too. The uh, color scheme on this one actually kind of looks neat. But I ended up getting the blue model. But you know, for like an extra four dollars, I could have got the Wi-Fi version. I think I would have got the Wi-Fi version had I known it was available and it was only four extra dollars. The booklet. Regular black and white Sima booklet, but at least it is, is in English. <laughs> Might be black and white, but at least it's English. Alright. So, looks pretty much everything. Looks about the same as all the past Sima models. Uh, just this one has a little different arming process and all that good stuff because it does have altitude hold. Here's all your parts complete part list. That's what I like about Sima, you know. They actually do carry their parts and they do have a, a, a breakdown of how everything goes together. An exploited view. Exploded view. Uh, Alright. See if we got anything. Yeah, they're, they're known for that. They will put some stuff on the bottom. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and pull all this stuff off the bottom here. And go ahead and pop the top of this off. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got a complete set of uh, the props, which actually these look very, very different than the old uh, Simon props. That's for sure. Way different, actually. Uh, these look very similar to the X8 props, actually. Just a screw that that uh, goes through the middle, and then it, it uh, must be a little cap that just pops on the top, which is actually pretty cool because these props, you know, guys, we're over these props. Honestly, I don't know about you all, but I'm over these little toy grade props, man. These look so cheesy, man. I'm so tired of of looking at these kind of props. I'm really happy that they finally did change the props. Uh, and these did screw in from the top too, so okay. The four prop guards. A uh, complete set of other props. The landing gear. Let's see what they give you here. The landing gear. And a bunch of tape. Uh, get rid of this tape. Alright. So we got the landing gear, which is pretty much the same exact landing gear, yeah. The same landing gear, just kind of pops on as the previous model. Nice little screwdriver. These are actually pretty nice little screwdrivers, guys. Uh, though I do have a bunch of them, but the little card reader, which I don't see a card for some reason. Huh. Oh, okay, the card's in the camera. Okay, cool. Awesome little charger okay now this is what kind of sucks honestly guys I don't know why they did this man they they have a new proprietary end for these <laughs> which is ridiculous I'm gonna go ahead and honestly I'm gonna put a JST plug on there but these didn't come with a JST either these came with a little uh, mini low C plugs which I wasn't a big fan of these either honestly so but I have a bunch of adapters to it to go from a JST to this but I don't have any kind of adapter for this yet but I guess that might be something coming up in the future. All right. Go ahead and pull everything out of here so I can move this out of the way. The controller. Wow. You know what, guys? 
Okay. This is another prime example of what I was talking about in my XK251 video. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Because <laughs> I don't know about any of you guys, but from the videos that I've seen, from all the videos that I've seen, actually, I thought this controller was the same size as this controller because they look so similar. They're like the same color. And yet, nobody had the consideration to show you how much smaller it really is. Unbelievable. Anyway, <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, guys, I guess that's what I'm here for, is to show you the things that nobody else shows you. And I hope you guys ain't getting mad at me, you know. I am kind of ranting a little bit tonight. It's just, it's just very aggravating to me, you know. It's like, you watch these videos to learn what you're buying, but then it's like, surprise, this is as small as the controller that came with the stock controller that came with this. So, hmm. I mean, because I was actually was thinking, wow, this has the center leveling thing. I was going to use this for my X8, you know. You know, maybe it'd help it, you know, hover. <laughs> but you know what? Now that it's so much smaller, there's no way I'm going to use this. Because this feels so much better in your hands. Hmm. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. Hmm. Anyway, uh, here's the quadcopter. The quadcopter. Uh, very similar in design. Actually, very similar in design. Matter of fact, it's probably almost the same exact design. It has the same little uh, covers down here in the bottom. Looks like it has the same slot that the that the camera slides down into, same exact, same little plug, same on and off switch, same lights, really the only thing I see different is the little symbol here looks cool, uh, the color is actually pretty cool, and these props, they finally got rid of these stupid looking toy grade props, these are actually nice little props, uh, but the one thing that is really different is this this plug. Unfortunately, they decided to go with their own proprietary plug, which uh, kind of looks like a little mini version of what comes on the X8, which I honestly don't like that one too much either. It also comes on the K-Dang. see if we can get this battery out of here. Kind of hard to fish it up out there. All right. There is plenty of room, though, to put a battery in there. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Same space, yeah. All right. So, not much different, but the altitude hold feature on this one seemed like it really did handle pretty good. Actually, it looked like it was doing a pretty good job from the videos I have seen. It did look like it it uh, held its altitude pretty well. But I do want to do this. Actually, I do want to see what the battery came in at, if we can. I don't even know if we can even test this battery with the way this plug is. We can, but boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, that'll make it easy. Let's see here if we can do it. All right, here we go. It is 3.88. Well, that's good, actually. That's a pretty decent storage level. All right. Well, that's good to know. And I will be modding these plugs out. I will either be making an adapter or just straight up changing these. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. All right. Camera. Let's see here. It is. This is not the Wi-Fi one. This is the one that actually records uh, off the camera. Uh, it has a four gigabyte card, which is nice. It's always nice to, that they include a nice four gig card. I right, guess uh, this is how the card goes in, by the way, just so you know with the metal tabs and facing up. All right. All right. And something else I want to see, just to make sure, I am 99% sure that it's the same exact slot, which is cool because it's kind of my little pull-out in case of emergency type quad. And yes, it is. Okay, cool. So this is the same exact slot. It, slides in the same exact way as the previous model, the SC model. I had seen a video somewhere where somebody said that it was a different mounting system. I don't know why, but it's not. It's the same. All right. Well, guys, that's it for the SIMA 
uh, the X5HC, and we will have an upcoming flight video, like I said. Uh, and hope you like the video, and please stay tuned. Peace out.